What's going on YouTube, it's your boy, bang, it's another me, and today, man, back another video, man, today, 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 I'm doing something totally different, because right now, as you can see, I do have some exotic snacks that are from South Africa, you know what I mean? I can't wait to try them, so let's get straight to it, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm pretty excited, because I do got a heavy lineup. I got these right here. These are called cheese, cheese snacks, cheese snacks right here, you know what I'm saying? I do have some red label cream biscuits. These look really good and delicious. They look really good and delicious if you can see, you know what I mean? So I got that right there. Got this little fizzer, little fizzer pop. What's it, fizzle, fizzle doubles, okay. Fizzer doubles, all right. I got stony ginger beer right here. Can't wait to try them out. Last but not least, Simba the Lion, you know Simba the Lion? Roar, the creamy cheddar flavor. All right, let's get straight to it. Hmm, tough decision. I'm not gonna lie, which one I should try first. <sighs> I'm gonna go with these. I'm gonna go with these because, you know, the purple is standing out to me, so I'm gonna try these first. Okay, let me open this up. Okay, one thing I like as well is that the bag is not 75% air, like, you know, it's like perfect sizing, you know what I mean? It's not like I open it and it's straight air. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. So these are like, they like chill type vibes, you know what I mean? They like chill type vibes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let me try this out real quick. All right, y'all see that right here? You see that? Got a little nice texture to it. I can smell the spices and the aroma. I can smell that's heavily seasoned. It's chutney flavor, so okay. That's something like some seasoning now. Let's get straight to it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, quite a unique, quite a unique taste. It tastes like what a Cheeto kind of supposed to taste like, you know, not too overwhelming. But I can taste it's heavily seasoned as well. I can taste it as a vinegar. You know, I can taste vinegar. There's a little vinegar aspect, aspect to it, which I'm also enjoying. It's also sweet too, so it's not spicy. I was expecting it to be a little spicy, but it's actually sweet. Kind of tastes like ketchup chips kind of, kind of thing. You know what I mean? Pretty good. Pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, this is not bad. This, mm. this right here. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I'm liking it actually. It's like a ketchup chip with the like uh it's like ketchup chips and barbecue barbecue chips had a baby. That's what it's like. Imagine barbecue chips and ketchup chips had a baby. That's like the flavor. That's like the flavor right now. It's heavily seasoned. I can even smell the seasoning. You know, a lot of chips just smell like oil, but this one I can smell the seasoning. You know what I mean? So I'm liking it. You know? Mm. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a little too much. <laughs> you know? It's distracting me. And oh, this is Willard's, by the way. It's Willard's brand, okay? Shout it out. Cause this one I give it like a seven out of seven out of ten, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's it's good. The reason why I give it a seven out of ten is because it's good, but it don't have the addictive taste. So maybe that's probably why addictive taste is probably because it's not North American. You know, North American things they got additives. They add additives to chips and stuff like that to make you addicted to chips. So this one doesn't got an addictive taste. Kind of like you actually want to just eat it. So that's why I'm giving it a little seven out of ten. You know, like you just munch into munch. You know, good munchies. Mm. Since I kind of don't want, you know, this flavor to mess up the other flavors of the stuff, I'm going to drink this right here. Second. Ah. Y'all hear that sound? Ooh, that should smell like some good old ginger beer. Okay. Wow. See, one thing about this is like, it's not the ginger beer that be just like this burning your throat as soon as you drink it. Nah, it's a good old sweet vibe and the sugar doesn't taste like sugar. It tastes more like caramel or honey. It doesn't taste like sugar. You know what I mean? This has got even sugar in it. It tastes like honey. Okay, it says 32 grams of sugar energy. I'm surprised. It doesn't even taste like it has sugar in it. Like it doesn't taste like the same drinks that we got. You know, you taste it, you can just taste the sugar taste the fake sugar that they be adding no this one tastes like some honey you know what i'm saying or like you know 
or like maybe it's a brown sugar, cane sugar, I don't know. But let me taste it again. Nah, it's like, it's almost like a juice kind of thing, you know? Okay, it's given organic, it's given organic. Should I try these next or should I save these for last? I'm thinking I'm gonna save these for last, you know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this one for last. <sighs> let me try this right here. Y'all can see it before I do. Okay. Y'all can see it before I do. This one, though, do got a little air. It do smell like cheese, this one. Okay, do smell like cheese. Now, look at that. It's a really thin chip. It's not thick, so it doesn't... It seems like it's, like, really organic. This is not, like, you know, the same old fat, fat chips that we got. It's really... Yeah, it's really light, too. Let me try it out. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Not bad. Not bad. Mm. 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 Not bad at all. The thing is, I was expecting like a very cheesy type of thing where like, you know, when you touch it, your hands is filled with cheese, but nah. It tastes like, you know what people use to season cheese? That's what it tastes like right now. Okay. I'm liking this, I'm liking it. And then, you know, all the packaging, it looks really cool. You know, you can see that in the back right there. As well, it is halal too, so that's cool, you know. My people who eat halal food as well, this is halal on the bottom. It does specify. I don't know if y'all can see, but it does specify that's halal. You know what I mean? Does this one specify? This is also halal too, right here. Is this drink halal? Let me check. I don't know if the drink is halal, but you know, for my brothers and sisters, you know. Oh yeah, let me not mix. For my brothers and sisters right now, you can get these, you know what I'm saying? It's halal, so that's cool. I don't know if this is halal as well. Oh, this is also, this is also halal too. This is awesome. So, you know, people aren't left out, you know what I mean? So that's a halal symbol on it. So people aren't left out, you know what I'm saying? That's cool, you know, so everyone can eat type thing, you know? It kind of has a creamy, like once you eat it, the creamy texture kind of comes out and it's like I'm eating real cheese too at the same time. This has Spanish on this, but that's fritas comes over. That's Portuguese, or that's Portuguese. I didn't know Spanish. <laughs> I'll give this an eight out of ten. The reason why I'm not giving it a ten out of ten, well, ten out of ten is perfect. There's nothing in this world that's perfect. The reason why I'm not giving it any higher is because I feel like this also just all bright, but I'm actually enjoying it. Just because I'm giving it that ring doesn't mean I don't enjoy it. Cause I'm actually loving this right now. In fact. I think I'm gonna go and buy up the whole store next time, you know what I'm saying? Buy up the whole store because giving a really healthy vibe. So these things, what I'm noticing is like, these don't give you that junk food vibe where I'm just eating this and then I'm like, oh, it feels like junk. Like it doesn't give you that junk food vibe, you know? This gives you just a real kind of snack type of thing. So that's why I'm not giving it that. Cause I'm expecting the junk food, junk food vibe, but this is more healthy, but I like, I like it like that too. Mm. I'm gonna drink this again. Thing about ginger, y'all don't realize the ginger is actually used to kind of kill the taste. Okay, this is like this is good. I'll give it a ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Sorry, I lied. Whatever I rating I gave you, I don't even remember if I gave it a rating. Whatever rating I gave, I give it a ten out of ten because this right here is next level. This tastes like this is like it's like it's like it says homemade come back from school your mom just made a nice drink that's what it tastes like so i'm gonna give this a 10 to 10 forget what i said earlier okay next one you know have this one right here mm. this looking good just from the back oh one of them cracked let me see if i can you see this right here that's how it looks like let's see if i can open the thing like an oreo don't break don't break now don't break. Okay, let me just do this. 
with the soya the inside, so it got like chocolate in the inside, you know. So y'all be having cookies like this and y'all ain't even tell me. Y'all be having cookies like this and y'all ain't even tell me. Come on, y'all. Mmm. Come on, why does everything taste homemade? Like this is good. It doesn't taste factory made at all. It tastes homemade. Like the the sugar is not as natural. Like it's a natural type of sugar. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't taste like added preservatives. It doesn't taste like food coloring or nothing. Like it don't taste like chemicals. It just tastes like a natural sugar type of thing. Like how is that? Like how is that possible? Like a company making food and it just tastes so like organic. That's lit. No aftertaste, no weird taste to happen, no stinging on your tongue. It just tastes real. I'm liking it. Imagine, imagine Christmas time. You have your hot chocolate. Plus you got, or you got hot chocolate, your tea, or even coffee. Let's just sell this at Starbucks. They'll make billions at Starbucks. I'm not, now with my drink to match it off. Mass made in heaven. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Ah. Again. Okay, a weird combination. I'm not going to lie. This cheese and this right here, they kind of go together. I'm not going to lie. They kind of go together. Look at this. I'm almost done. <laughs> it's insane. I'm almost done this. Isn't that crazy? Okay, this is one of my favorite snacks, yo. I take that back. Whatever I said, this I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. Take that back now. <laughs> I take whatever I said back. 9 out of 10. Take it, come on, take it, take it. Okay, last one, we got this right here. It's a little fizzer, so it's candy. I finished it, man. I can't just, I can't just walk and go get it. Like I gotta drive at least 30 minutes. Ooh, nice and pink. So this is watermelon flavor. Watermelon, it's watermelon. So this is like a bubblegum type thing. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Looks like a really chewy. Okay, it's getting, it's getting stuck on my teeth, I'm not going to lie. The only thing I don't like is how chewy it be, so I'm wondering if this is a bubblegum. Let me know if I'm eating this wrong, because this is a bubblegum or this is just like you actually chew and eat it, because this one is filling up my stomach. This is the smallest item here and it's filling up my stomach more than these ones. So it was real heavy. Canada, man. Start shipping this in. We need you. So my final ratings right now, I give this nine out of 10. I give this seven and eight out of 10 due to the fact that, you know, I wanted something a little bit spicier at the same time too, but it's really seasoned well. But this gives more like a homemade vibe. This one I gave it, 
a nine or a ten. You know, this is real good. I like it because it gives a high class vibe. You know what I mean? These ten out of ten. These taste homemade. This is perfect for the winter time. Really good for the winter time. You know, when you boot up, when you laid up with your boo, something like that. You just eating. Ten out of ten. Most def. Ten out of ten. This is one of the best drinks ever in the world. Now my new favorite. It just tastes nice. It tastes like how ginger beer is supposed to taste. Like, why drink ginger beer is just gonna burn you? Like, half the time, a lot of the ginger beers are more of just the burning sensation rather than the actual ginger. You know what I mean? <laughs> and this one right here is the perfect combination. Like, the the sugar does not taste like sugar. It tastes like honey, but with a pop feeling as well too. This right here, I'll give it a six, seven out of ten. Due to the fact that I don't like how when I'm chewing it gets stuck in my teeth like that. It's like a pet peeve of mine when things get stuck in my teeth, right? But it does taste good. So this is like one of them quick snacks. And also was halal too, which is real cool because I have a lot of friends, you know, and they can't really eat things like this because of the, the gelatin issue and all that. But it's halal, this one. So this is awesome. Overall, I'm actually very, I like it. I like it. Uh, and I want to try some more, you know what I'm saying? So I should go to the store again and get some more. Anyways, y'all, if you made this far, I appreciate it. Man. Much love to y'all, you feel me? your boy Banks. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. If you want to win 100k, let's get it popping, y'all. And I'm out.